Hey honeys, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Brittany, two T's and EY. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you can subscribe to my channel and we're gonna get right into this video. First, I'm gonna show you the growth that I've gotten over the past six weeks with this Kinky Twist Protective Style. If you haven't seen my update videos or my installation video on this hair, I'll be sure to put links in my description box as well as add some convenient cards so that you guys will have the ease of just clicking that. These next few comparison shots are self-explanatory, so I'm gonna let you guys enjoy that and then I'm gonna come back with my tips on how to unravel each twist and how to safely remove your hair from the extension hair with minimum to no breakage. Okay, honeys, we have made it to the portion of the video where I'm going to show you how to unravel a few of these twists. So the first thing you're gonna do is start at the end of each twist. And this process is very simple. All you're going to do is twist the hair in opposite directions. That should open the twist up enough for you to get your finger through. And then you can start to unravel the twists. This process is very simple. It's just as simple as the installation process. And again, if you haven't checked that video out already, I'll add a card for your convenience so that you can click it and be linked right to the video. So we're gonna continue. There are gonna be times when you're unraveling the twists, when you get to a point to where the twist feels like it's just stopping. So in those instances, make sure that you look closely at the hair, make sure that it's not your natural hair, and then you can go ahead and kind of loosen that section, pull it a little bit, and then you should be able to slide the hair out of that piece so that you can continue to unravel. Here's a close up. Easy peasy, honeys. I will continue to be an advocate for self-care. Learn how to do your own hair. Learn how to do any processes that make you feel your best because you don't want to depend on other people and their availability to make you feel your very best. Okay, okay, now back to the video. The next step that you wanna do is just gently remove your hair from the extension hair, and it should come off pretty easily if your hair was detangled and stretched properly. you guys for bearing through the light variances I was doing this late night and my light just wasn't stable for the area that I'm filming in right now but guys the quality will get better later once I stop using my iPad and get me an actual camera so moving on I decided to show you guys me unraveling a couple of more twists because I do want to show you how you can easily remove the extension hair from your hair before you even take the rubber band off. Once you have separated your natural hair from the extension hair, grab both sides of the extension hair and just slide it out. It's that simple and that is how you remove it. Wow. 
Oh my goodness, my hair was so soft. It felt very smooth. Look how shiny it is. Y'all, listen, you have got to check out my Kinky Twist Scalp Maintenance video so that you can see how I got this beautiful growth and maintain the moisture in my scalp. Okay, we are at the last twist and I decided to do a close-up of what I described earlier in the video. Here, it's a little more difficult for me because my, my nails have grown so much over these past six weeks while I've been wearing these twists. And if you see any little pieces of hair on my white t-shirt, it's actually the kinky twist hair. It is not my natural hair that is broken off. Again, when I installed this hair, I thought that I was not going to like it. But over the time and as the weeks passed, this hair became very soft and more pliable. So I enjoyed wearing it and I actually rocked it for two weeks longer than I expected. Here is the point where you find your natural hair to separate it from the extension hair. This process should be easy and your hair should just glide off. It shouldn't be catching anything. It's a very smooth separation. Now you just slide the extension hair from between the rubber band and your hair. I did this all around my head. My hair was very, very soft. It was easy to detangle. I didn't use any water, any kind of moisturizer. All I did was take the rubber band off by cutting it and then I combed out the buildup with the brush. The whole takedown process took about three hours for me to remove all the extension hair, then to comb out all of my hair and remove the buildup. So all in all, this style took me nine hours to install, three hours to take out. So 12 hours for six weeks worth of wear. I'm with it. I can do it. As you can see, there is moisture on my hands. My hair was very, very soft. This is my hair after I've combed out all of the buildup. The buildup was very minimal, okay? It was such a small amount, y'all. My hair feels good. My scalp is clean. My wash day was so easy because my hair was already detangled. Y'all stay tuned because I will keep on delivering these videos. I thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the support. See you next time.